Thank you. All right, what about you, Gwinnett County? Name two things that piss you off in a relationship. I think just like a lack of um, a like life. masculinity. Like if oh, if if okay, give he, us a specific example. Yeah, then. absolutely. If he doesn't know exactly like what I like, what we're gonna do. Like if there's like um leadership. Yeah, like leadership. A lack of leadership. I, I get okay. completely turned off and just like. Uh, so if he says, "Hey, you want to eat?" and you're like, "Yeah," and he's like, "All right, what do you want to eat?" That type of thing. If it's like a repeated thing, if there's like a, it's like once in a while, like sure, like I'll pick, like whatever. Okay. Like you, you want to. But if it's something. always, what do you want to do? Yeah, I'm just like, yeah, okay. okay, I'm not doing this anymore. You want him to say, Supreme Leader decides we're gonna go here, and you just follow. Yeah, I want to follow him. Cool. All right. When what's the second thing? The second thing is just like a lack of morals. You know, like if he's just like like. If, if oh, give like, us the morale thing that pisses you off. Just like liking a bunch of girls' pictures, oh, like shit. the porn thing, porn mm. thing, like just like just like you're so hypersexual. It's like what is going on? It, it makes me like less attracted to that man because it's like I can't I can't follow a man that's like so hypersexual. It's not gonna lead me anywhere, you know. It's yeah. not gonna lead me to God. Like where is it gonna lead me to? Yeah, he More has balls. Sex? Yeah, yeah. Another thing goes. I have. Can I ask her a question? Sure. So when you say hypersexual, like, do you do poom poom a lot uh, for him to be hypersexual? Because men typically do, uh, watch more adult content if they're not getting that much poom poom. Mm -hmm. Are you asking me if I like have sex with my? my I'm talking about how son? often because I'm an ex porn star, so it's like I have a lot of sex with the person that I'm with. Wow. If that's the if that's the answer, yeah. If that's the question, yeah. I don't know what type of guys you like then, cause mm -hmm. like watching well, that. Movie. No, no, no. The thing is, I I don't go for those guys. So like, I know exactly what I don't want. But you kind of said you did with hypersexual and how you get turned off though. So how many does that fit in with the five body count then with the hypersexual? I never said I had five bodies. I was like like half of the group or whatever. But I'm saying like. I, I could tell, like, when a man is hypersexual. Like, from, like, the first conversation, if you really analyze, like, a man, like, if you really sit down on that date and you talk to that man, not just because, like, he's paying for it or, like, whatever he has going on. Like, if you really analyze the situation with that person, yeah. you could definitely tell, like, if they're hypersexual or not. Even with my female friendships, right? Like, I could definitely tell, like, when my, my, French, my girlfriend is, like, hypersexual. Because those, those sex topics come a lot sooner Most than... Most men, though... Are hypersexual because you? I don't think so. I I can disagree. I at least in my I can experience. tell you there is most men are really hypersexual. In, like in I'm 32, yeah, so I've been around the sun a couple more times, and I, I can tell you, I believe the you. men are hypersexual, and they're laughing because they can agree. Yeah. But wouldn't that just mean that most men turn her off then? Like, well, most men she's not turn saying that, that yeah. it's not a no, lot but, of men. But I'm saying she's no. saying that that's what I, pisses her off. I understand though, but I'm just saying she's gonna run into a lot of that. But the thing is, I'm not running to a lot of men because I I don't I'm in a, a long term relationship. So like, you know, it's I don't get You're saying men. To I'm that categorizing men. men as a whole. And I understand, but if I'm not if I'm not going out there pursuing men and doing all this and being around so many men, my my vision is like this. You got to understand, though, with men, it's in their DNA to conquer. And I understand. I completely understand. But this is this is my perspective. This is what makes me upset. Wait a minute. Shall I Ask Jeeves. Me, You're Christian, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a follower of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So I'm, you having sex before marriage? Um, no, the, my, my first husband, which is who I have my child with, was my first situ like you know what I mean everything okay so yeah. only when you're committed to the person you have sex yeah so wait you're divorced mm-hmm how long have you been divorced for three years who initiated it me damn why um stupid come on man <laughs> hey come on man hey man Bro. hey I mean hey on, man. man I mean come on man I think it's don't worry about this nigga no it's fine I don't, I don't mind don't worry about him I think the the real reason is because he could not lead me. He could not lead me, and I could not follow him. He had the, the, his morals, the way that he led. He was young, also. Like let's let's. He's only one year old, older than me. So I'm at that time when I had my child. I was 21. He was 22. He didn't know any better, and I forgive him. I love him. I he is a great father, but I just could not follow him. So you never he cheated. You just it. didn't trust him from a leadership perspective. Exactly. Oh, listen, did you guys both work? Yes. Did you make more than him? 
Um, no, no I'd say we'd, we'd equal. Say, yeah. Same. Mm-hmm. All right. And then the pandemic also like really affected our relationship because I had a child like two days before like the pandemic was like a thing. So it was just like he was always at home. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, you have to go to work because I cannot stand you at the house. (laughs) I can't. Wow. Like we, you men, men need to be out of the house. You know, like like the children don't need to be with the men like all the time. Like let that woman be in her house with her children. You go out work, do whatever you need to do. Did you bother him more than this, he bothered you? No, he bothered me so <laughs> much. He bothered me so much. He would talk to you more? I'm yeah, like, he would bother me so much. I was like, I really need to, like, just, like, I would walk. I would just walk. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Bro. No no judgment, no nothing. Is your child a boy or a girl? He's a boy. <laughs> I, have a, I have a question. The silence was loud. So, wait, so you said that you don't have sex before marriage? I can't. No, I just don't have sex, like, without a, like, committed relationship. Okay, without a committed relationship. Yeah. Okay. All right. Like, so, if you're not exclusive to me, I'm not having sex with him. Okay, so so the two things that piss you off, but that you dislike, are lack of leadership skills and hypersexualized men. Yeah, that's it. So you like hypermasculine men? Yeah, I do. What if I told you most hypermasculine men are also fairly hypersexualized? I know. That's a really big. That's a really big problem in my in my dating life. The problem's you, man. Maybe. <laughs> it could be. It really could be. No, no, no. Because uh, sure why are you still here? No, the reason why I had to peep that. The reason why I had to peep that was because my child's father, hypersexual. You got a four year old, I got a nine year old. Well, I guess y'all got pregnant for a reason, I guess. <laughs> <That'd> be... <laughs> no, he was my first. So oh, he was listen. Your, he was your first? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was young and dumb. I don't know about her, but I was young and dumb. I could admit was? that. Was. Or is. Was. Chris, I man. let that nigga okay. go. All right. All right. I mean, it's smart. All right. So I guess, so you're kind of in a strange middle ground because the man that you're seeking is more than likely, not every single time, but they're more than likely going to also be pretty sexualized. Mm-hmm. At least I ain't get to the marriage mm-hmm. part. I ain't All right. Lie. Would you... uh since it's hypersexualized and you might not be able to fulfill that at all times, would you be okay with him having other women? Absolutely not. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, bro. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> okay, what about you? Two things that you hate uh, in a relationship with men. That turns you off, basically. Right, Mo, that was the correct one? Yes. All right. Um, I would say when there's nice. like a lack of a, like emotional intelligence. All right, define emotional intelligence. Um, Just like support, like being trauma-informed, being able to like know that people come with baggage and being able to reassure someone if they're in a place where they're feeling anxious about the relationship okay a lot of anything that really has to do with emotions happy sad that da like you're able to All right, so deal with your emotions deal with both of our emotions though like not just one-sided but yeah we're stuck out there with mine as, as and your emotions at the same time no i'm talking about a give and take that's what i'm talking about but like as far as the question is concerned yeah like not having not him not being able to or not wanting to or putting the effort into dealing with those emotions um but that also comes from a place of like as a woman being able to like like know that you're spiraling sometimes and like lock in you know what i'm saying and not just like lash out Mm -hmm. so i'm not saying like oh you're just always like fucking crying and shit and he just has to deal with that but i'm just saying like it's real that sometimes, sometimes yeah it's real that sometimes you'll get in a place and he needs to be able to like not be like, well, like, type shit. Like if you're, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? If you're like feeling triggered mm-hmm. or something. Type shit, and what's yeah. the second thing? Type shit. And then the second thing. Future. Sorry, that was a lot. So I'm like trying to scale back to my. I've ADHD, so I'm trying to scale back to my answer. One more thing that you have an issue with, with men. One more thing. Um, an ick for me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It for me is like um That's fine, we can move men on. that do too much, like too high profile. Too like, high too high profile or do too much? Um <laughs> that's kind of like, that's for me things. those kinda go inside coincide. But um yeah, just like too seen, like we're out together and you're just like flamboyant. You know what I'm saying? It's like I like a low key guy. Okay. Flashy. Flashy. Yeah, flashy, so you don't like the guy with, with the Lambo your... and the and the watches and all that. Not just the look. That. I'm talking about like your your aura and your demeanor. Like if you're you need to be chill. I'm sorry. Like she's saying, <sighs> you need don't to be go chill. super saying, stay. Yeah, like you can't if, be. What if they're chill, but people come be. up to them and greet them and shit like that? 
Yeah, but there's a way to, you know, there's a way to still, like, be humble in that and be calm, you know? Right. Like, she just wants the person to be chill, but she doesn't care about their status. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sorry, we had to make sure we clarify there because... Rarely do we ever see a girl that says, oh, I don't want my nigga to have some status. It's You just want to see how they react with the status. Right. Yeah, it's not just about status, though, because that, that could go for brokies. That could go for people that have nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's just about how you're acting. Like, you can't be a freaking yeah, spaz. Yeah, but, like, I mean, you need to calm down. Look, being honest, like, do As brokies have status most of the time? The answer is no. Most of the time. I said brokies don't have status most of the time. Definitely don't, but yeah. the rules still apply. The only to brokies that could have status are women, not really men. Yeah, Type I mean, some, keeping it honest, some, rap, some rappers. Care yeah, city. but that Sorry. doesn't really have the, what I'm saying. Or that they have money. Yeah, exactly. It's assumed, so <laughs> yeah. it's kind of goes hand in hand. Are there some bums that have some status? Of course, right. but like it's a majority now. Scammers and still mm -hmm. don't got it for. Uh, yeah, but it's because they have the aura that they might have it. Yeah. So money's always tied with men. For women, mm -hmm. y'all can do it. Okay, did you think of two things that? God damn, nigga. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Bacon, nigga, cheese. Uh, slow down. All right, what about you, Miss Pittsburgh? Uh, two things that uh, in relationship for you. That what? Two things in relationship that you dislike or that would piss you off. About men. Um, about men. That they do. Probably just a man that don't have... I'm sorry. Um, Probably just a man that don't have, like, goals. Like, I'm okay. always trying to see somebody elevate or, like, All right. try to help us elevate. You know? What do you mean when he says you're a chef, but he ain't go to culinary school? Yeah, yeah, of course, but I'm going to go to culinary school just to get that certificate. No, no, but he ain't going. He's like, no, nah, nigga, I'm a chef. Yeah. Oh, well. Bam! Yeah, the I mean, if good, he's nigga. making money towards it and he's elevating, he's trying to advance that business, but like, if he's just sitting there like, oh, I'm selling plates, I'm going to keep it at that, and I'm making money, like, okay, but if he's not trying to be a like, celebrity chef or try to network and try he is, to go He's saying bam travel, every time he puts the salt on. Would you push him? Yes, that's the thing. Like, I will push some push somebody to Bam! get yeah. to their highest oh, point. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. scared the girls. Sorry, <laughs> she yeah, thought she was in Russia. Oh, shit! Oh, get the AK now! Kill them. Okay, sorry. Let's think of the trauma. Yeah. <laughs> She, she had to fly. Oh no! For Zelensky! Die! Okay, sorry. Oh my god. Bro! Bro! Bro. So you were saying? What? Bro. Are I don't know what I was saying. Oh, I'm not trying to yes. fly. Uh, we were talking about Bam and Emerald Lagasse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're. We uh, talked about pushing your man. You yeah. said you're going to push yeah, your man. Yes, like I better. said, like I will push my man. So we're starting to stunt though. If I keep on pushing, like I'm the type to push. Like if I really love somebody, Stop the cap. I'm going to keep. Me, okay. I'm gonna keep on so I need goals. What's the second to... thing they need? Or the second thing that pisses you off in a relationship? Sorry. Second thing. I don't know. Like, just Damn, being okay. a bum. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Keep it in pretty simple. Okay. All right. What about you, uh, Miss Substitute Teacher? Okay. I don't know how... What, was anybody else going to say controlling? Like, uh, they trying to tell me no. what to do. Oh, you're coming up with something original. Oh, original. Yeah, yeah, good job. Damn, okay. You got gold star. I've been waiting to say that. Okay. How, are they, how are they controlling? Anything like if you tell me like the generic ones like if you don't like if you try to tell me to not like, change my outfit like you're crazy exactly that's yeah. so controlling I hate when when it happens you know does that, that happen to you no I mean for girls that's crazy some people do, do you that do it? no one has ever done that to I would me. never but I whenever you even smile, you <laughs> no one no one has ever you're done smiling. it to me but if I even see it I'm like. I hate you. Yeah, like, I wish a nigga would. Who do you would. think you are? Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. like I wish you would try to do For that real. to me. For real. Yeah. Yeah. Really? That mm -hmm. makes me angry. Or like, tell me what to do, or like, yeah. any in any way, like where to go. Yeah, you're, you're not going to like, yeah, You don't need no man. Not, I'm a PhD. Like, who are you? Yeah, fuck leadership. Like, like, who are you, nigga? Fuck leadership, yeah. man. Fresh guy, nigga. Yeah. Okay. And number two. Number two is kind of what she said, like no goals, or more specifically. I'm goal oriented too, and I'm doing a lot of things. And if you want, think you're gonna piggyback off of that, mm -hmm. or you're gonna like, right. I can tell like they're never gonna say that, but they're not. They're pretending to do something, but really they're just like, oh, they're like, using you. Yeah. 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 That's gonna He's be bad, girl. And I'll just say that. <laughs> All right, yeah. I have a question for you. Um, do you want a guy that's like, um, like can protect and provide for you? Yes, I do value that, but also I can contribute as well. Like I'm not gonna just sit there. But I do, I do value that because it makes it easier for me to okay. do what I'm gonna doing, what I'm doing. Okay, so you do want a man that can protect and provide. Yes, that's like a biological thing. Okay, and you want a man that's a leader. Of course. Why okay. would I want a follower? Okay, cool. So you want a guy. So wouldn't it be so fair to say 50 50? that if he's a protector and a provider, that he has some degree of authority over you? 
No, those are not related. What? It sounds like she said 50 50 for real. What the fuck? No, she didn't she, say 50 50 because no, she, she said she, said she wants a protector and a provider. She said she could do I it. I value too. equality, but I don't know what 50 50 means. That could be like. That's a, the same thing. I do not want equality. equality. Okay, I hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. She said she wants a protector and a provider. She does. She didn't say she wants someone that's going to go 50 50 with her. If you want a protector and a provider, that means that the man, that's the man's job. Mm -hmm. Am I, I think I understand. What but she's saying here. As a woman, like if a man is protecting and providing, then I will be supporting and you know being the soft one. Okay. So that's, that's both of us. Let me let's let's go ahead and go into brass tax. Do you expect to pay the majority of the real bills in the household if you're in a serious relationship with a man? That's so specific of it like is very what specific, is a, what is <laughs> no, but specific to the two people and the point yes. of life you're at because yes. what is my job? Like what if he just got fired and now I'm talking I can about step in? in general, would you want this man to be the predominant breadwinner? protector and provider for you in the household where he is handling the majority of the bills no per, for me personally i don't think I so you want it 50 50 50 50 that's 50 50 boo half and half yeah because if he's not providing then i guess yeah, yeah if that if you hate me for that then no 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 I don't, I don't hate no, you i'm just trying to understand to that works for me he's telling you so you want a 50 yeah. 50 relationship i guess so that works for me Okay, so if you're having a 50-50 relationship, that means that protection and provisioning and everything else you mentioned is split down the middle. I'm talking about money-wise. Oh. Do okay. your share, nigga. So, so I'm going to do mine. So you only want him, you only so you you, you want to provide 50% of the income and he provides 50%. Maybe I'd be okay with it. I'd be okay with it. Okay, but he but he's still in charge of you from a, from a protection standpoint, physical. Physically. I think that that's something that he's better at because he's physically bigger than me and like okay. as a man, then yeah. So he his job is that. to that's protect you. Suit. Yeah, he should. Okay, so since his job is to protect, what you, am I gonna do? Uh, that's fine. I'm just <laughs> asking. So since his job is to protect you, wouldn't it be fair to say that he has some degree of authority over you since he has to protect you? Authority? No. No, he, by protecting me, he's working for me. I'm authoritating over him. God damn, she's independent. But Wait, say you gotta again, understand say that, again, that on, if he's protecting me, like I am, he's he's doing me a service. He's protecting me. How is that him telling me what to do? Okay, you do understand. Um, and let me Maybe explain this. Maybe I don't. You don't. Just like you don't. I'm gonna. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Ms. Ms. Kelsey, let me somebody. explain this. Let okay. me explain this. Go ahead. You do understand that the president can't go anywhere unless the Secret Service clears it, correct? Okay. So. The president is the most powerful man in the United States. However, he doesn't move unless the Secret Service tells him to move. Mm -hmm. Okay. So by that logic, that means that the person that's in charge of protecting you actually does have the authority over you to tell you when and where you can go. Mm -hmm. I'm just using the example of the president of the United States, the most powerful person in the world, which you are nowhere near. Mm -hmm. However, you think that you can dictate to a man how he's going to protect you. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's directly you, what you said because you the example you gave was no man can tell me how to dress. And I'm arguing with you, not yeah. arguing, but I'm challenging your viewpoint that him telling you how to dress is a component of him properly protecting you. Mm. What is he protecting you from? Niggas. <laughs> oh he shouldn't tell Bruh. me. No, he should actually be like, you can wear whatever you want. You do and know. if anybody mm -mm, says anything mm -mm, about mm -mm, it, then mm -mm, I'm going to stand up for you. Mm -mm. You That's do, what I personally you, would you want. You do realize that there's like the um, there's a serial killer going fucking rampant in your part of the country, right? Yeah, right okay. now. Oh, they're, they're the interstate everywhere. killer in the Midwest, still mm -hmm. going strong. Oh. For the better part of a decade plus. Yeah. I mean that's an extreme example, but that's when women tend to listen is when they talk about serial killers. Yeah. Well, what I'm explaining to you is that if a man is charged with protecting you, then that means that he needs to have some degree of authority over how he's going to protect you because he has that responsibility. If you have responsibility, that means that it comes with authority. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, I can, I can agree with that. So how can you dictate to a man who's responsible for protecting you how you're going to go out into the world dressed when he because, is the one that's tasked with protecting you? Because I would say that I can go out there and I can wear, I can wear this outfit and mm -mm. someone can, like, that's not on me mm -mm. if someone comes after me for that. Mm -mm. That they're wrong. I'm I'm wearing what I want to wear. They're wrong for attacking me Absolutely and I, for any, me? For at all. Absolutely. Me? Hold on, hold on, Miss Kelsey. <clears throat> yeah, I understand that they're wrong for that, but you do mm -hmm. understand that the world is a cold place and that you don't. I'm not going out there naked. I got five brothers. Listen. It, it's, I know you're not going out there naked, but perverts are perverts. There yeah. You go. So. I think he could talk to me about it. He won't. 
Wait, who? He's not going to talk to you about yeah. it. No. Well, that's really good that you He's not like a I think she's talking about her man. Okay, got it. He's not going to talk to you about would, it. My kind of man would talk to me about it and say, hey, I'm nervous for your safety because I know that Mm-mm. this serial killer is out here looking for you dressed Mm-mm. like that. And Mm-mm. so maybe you could wear a jacket. All right, let me ask you a question real quick. Let me, let me, let's, let's use your logic. I wouldn't even do that. Let's say you meet a guy, right? Let's say you meet a guy. Yeah. He's handsome and he's good looking, et cetera, and he does it for you, right? He looks good. Yeah. But then you go on your first date mm-hmm. and he asks you, hey, where do you want to go? Uh, I'll go here. Okay, cool. Let's go there. You sit down. You're talking. You're chatting it up and everything else like that. And he says, you know what? You're kind of uh, uh, cute. Can I kiss you? What would you say to that? Maybe, yeah. If Yeah, if I like him, I would say yeah. Okay. And then he kisses you and he kind of like gets a little bit of extra tongue in there. It's kind of sloppy. It's weird. Um, but he tried, right? It's the... Okay. Um, and then after he says, oh my God, like, That's can a I... Peeve, by the way. Can I touch your arm? And look, he, when, he, when he goes to touch you, he's like kind of trembling. Look at your face. You're cringing right now. Yeah, because that's kind of weak. So you're oh. uncomfortable already. Okay. So, you, so you're okay, you're right? So you don't want a man already. to like... You want it to just get it, right? You want it to just like know what t- triggers you, what turns you on, what doesn't, understand, arouse you naturally, make you feel good, and you don't have to you don't have to think about it, right? You just want to be able to be pretty and show up. Well, yeah, because that's why it wouldn't work with everyone. This it's okay. only like so then kind of one explain to me how like you want a man to like turn you on without you telling him, but at the same time he's supposed to sit there and negotiate with you about how he's going to protect you. I think that's just communicating. <laughs> do you not mm-hmm. just see what I did there? No, I guess I missed it. I guess I if he has to tell you, you ask all you did is ask me what do I not like, and I just said I don't like to be controlled, and now we're here. No, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to explain to you that that's a lie. What is a lie? That's a lie. What you just said, because by your own answers, your body you don't like a man to sit there and ask you for your opinion on what you think and all this other stuff. You want a man to just know it and tell you what it is, or just do it. Okay. Holy shit. I'm just gonna say okay. Holy yes, you're shit. right. Shit, just low, bro. I mean, I'm just like logically okay. going. Like, if you want a man to just know you and be able to kiss you and arouse you, etc., like it would make sense that you also want him to tell you, no, you're not fucking going out dressed like that. Sorry, that's how it goes. I, okay, so maybe I just wouldn't want him to say it like that. I'm making the argument that you would. I'm complicated. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, bruh, I'm complicated. So long. He says to you, listen, babe, that dress, I don't like it. Wear this. Wear this instead. How about that? Could you wear this instead? He's left. Could, oh, yes. Could you? Could you? <laughs> Could you? Could you? Then I would consider it, and I probably would listen. Bro, and this, I would, is, this is the same, And I girl? would like Hold the on. authoritativeness of that, but there's also like an emotional intelligence where you're not just saying to me, take that off and wear something else, and talking down to me. Yes, about how you say it. <laughs> it's all about what respect, about, too. What about respect, yeah. though? Respect, that is, respect is it, obviously. The way that he's respect. communicating with her and the way that she's communicating with him is all about respect. That, mm-hmm. That's Yeah. Yeah. It's a fine line. No, no, but it's you, not controlling if you guys get you to You let him be your ground. man, right? So there must be respect there. Yeah. So if he tells you, listen, babe, change into this. Yes, that's so much better mm-hmm. than how he said it. It's the how you say it. It, it really matters. <laughs> it <laughs> is how you say it. I ain't gonna lie. I personally you, you're would not leave gonna, him regardless, but... You're not gonna tell me... I, because <laughs> I would, would I would it. listen to that. I would listen to that. And I would consider, okay, he's actually that. trying to protect me Switch from that. Not you're not he's trying to just switch the rumble. Me. Come on over to rumble niggas, rumble.com slash fresh of it. Go ahead, continue. What are you saying? <laughs> you're I don't know what I'm saying. saying. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. I think that's the point of this crazy. podcast is to talk like that, right? I feel like you're independent and you're a boss. Babe. I am, but I also want to be protected. Like, I'm not like I'm not, actually not a man. Like, I can't actually protect myself fully. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you want I him appreciate... to protect you on your feminine terms. Yeah. I think that's called respect. No, that's called being a fucking retard. No, like, it's yo. not. Maybe you have disrespectful. <laughs> like, no. Maybe you have disrespect. No, 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 no. You're because and this is this is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if you caught on, but through your own logic, you you're saying in one sense it's I don't want a man to tell me what it is. You did, dude. but the no, reality is. No, I think is, you're trying to misunderstand. No, no, I'm listening extremely closely. Contradicting yourself. Did, did, did. That's what I'm he's saying. I'm listening extremely closely. So. That's why I'm able to go ahead and come up with analogies because I'm listening to you, understanding you, and giving you response. I can't articulate my point to refute yours unless I understand your viewpoint. What you're trying to say is, 
I want to be a strong, independent woman when it suits me. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I expect you to protect me based on what I think. What I'm telling you is if I'm the one that's tasked with protecting you, I'm going to protect you on my terms because you're a woman. You don't understand combat. You don't mm -hmm. understand violence. You don't understand what men are capable of. You don't know anything because okay, you're a female. I think you're stop, not my stop, type. Stop, 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 stop. That's not the point. <laughs> what I'm explaining to you is women are not capable of the violence that men are capable of because most women have never been in a fist fight with a man before. And if they have, they probably got fucked up. And then they realize, damn, I need to listen to my man. So what I'm trying to explain is this. You're the same girl. That will sit there and say, you better not tell me what to wear, but you want a guy to pull you by the hair and say, you dirty slut when he's fucking you. No. You women are all the fucking same. You're trying you to guys be want a man. You want a man. No, 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 no. Let me finish my point, then I'll let you get to yours. <laughs> I'm going to sit there and say, oh, I want you to treat me like a lady That's and all this other bullshit, it. right? But then they want you to fuck the shit out of them behind the scenes yeah. and, and tell them what it that. is, etc. Women respond favorably to men that are masculine that tell them what it is. The reason why, because you're saying, oh, respect me. I do respect you as my woman, not as a fucking equal, okay? And you're, okay, you're, you're a Christian, you understand not. this. All religions know this, by the way. I just happen to apply it to the secular world because women tend to forget this. We are not equal. We have different roles, Definitely different not. roles to play, different backgrounds, different biological things that trigger us on and off. You are a female. I don't listen to you. You listen to me. That's how this goes. Mm, yeah, because wait, women, never work. hold on, stop. Because women are inferior in almost every regard to men. Oh. That's the truth. That's the biological fact. No, there's ways that we're much more I'm superior to men. Go ahead and give me one example. One. In emotional intelligence. Wow. Define emotional intelligence. Uh, being able to be self-aware and also empathize with other people's emotions and connect all of that you don't together. Empathize. I get really? Yes, I, I do. I get what you're saying, though. You just want to argue. You just want to... Define you empathy. Just... Empathy is when you can put yourself in someone else's shoes. In a serious way, and then you understand, understand. and then Somebody also then come back into yourself and act accordingly no, because safe. you understand exactly what they're what they might be going through. Okay. That's what empathy is. Interesting. Ask Brene Brown. Wouldn't it be fair to say that you lack like empathy right now because you don't understand the concept that I'm tasked with protecting you, so therefore you must be put in my shoes? But that you don't know it, by the way, because you're a fucking woman, and I, I am responsible. Smart. Okay. I'm responsible for protecting you, so I therefore don't like you don't understand the male oh, perspective. You don't like it. So you are really not as empathetic as you think you are. Okay, yeah, you're right. You Mike drop. I mean, I'm just saying. You're right, and you win. Uh, it's not even like... Because you're a man in the area, and so you automatically well, were going to win. No, 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 It's no. not that he's a man and he automatically clips. wins. That makes so much sense to me. Like, okay. it makes so much sense because it's like, dude... I can hear you, it. You want a guy to protect you on your terms and stuff? You're not going to... My kinda... guy, not every guy. I'm not saying every guy has to be like that, but you asked me, what do Where's I Where's your boyfriend? Like? But a dude. I don't have a boyfriend right now because he wasn't doing that. Because he wasn't Because he wasn't doing that. That's why you look okay. Good. So I, I make the <laughs> argument because that's girls, why you're single. Let me. I don't. I'm happy to be. Let single. me. Let me make a point real fast uh, because girls say this all the time that they're more empathetic than men are. I. I actually. Dis, I disagree. I don't think everyone's women, different. It's not everyone's different. I think women are actually less empathetic than men in general. Let me give you my point. Why? Okay. For me, to attract you to me, I must understand you. I must know what turns you on, what turns you off. Remember the example I gave you earlier? I just got to get it. I got to move in for the kiss. I got to know how to touch you. I got to escalate properly. Mm -hmm. I got to bring you back to my place. It's got to be clean. I got to have a vibe. All this fucking bullshit that goes you into it. Talk to me right? right on the side. I have to talk to you oh, the right I'm way, etc. What the fuck do you have to understand to attract me? I'm pretty. <laughs> Wait, what? what do you mean? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> I just described a multitude of different things that men must understand about women to attract them. Correct? Mm -hmm. We have to understand you guys. Okay. What do you have to understand, understand about me to attract me? I have to understand what you value as respect. Like, men appreciate being respected. I they... said attract. What do you mean? I said attract. Not, not to attract? Not keep to attract. Well, yeah. men are more visually motivated, so all oh. I have to do is sit here and look good. So fucking nothing. Fantastic. Thank <laughs> you for proving my point. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm trying to say... The point I'm trying to make, because you made the argument that women you are more emotionally intelligent. Men, women are more empathetic. I really feel like you're it's hopping not. all over to different Because as topics. much as men are quiet, they they really think a lot. I just mm -hmm. listen to what I you said. Love and men. I love men. As I much think as men, men are, are great, quiet, because I'm quiet But you asked me what, they're, what I don't like. Mm -hmm. You asked me what I don't no, like, so that was he, a setup. He named out a bunch of things that women usually ask for. Mm -hmm. He said, what do men ask for? They asked but for respect. The was, he said, attract. what do men... Hold on, pause, because the question what is, was what, what attracts... Is, yeah. And what attracts a woman versus what attracts a man. So to he named it thing. out. Hold on. He named it Hold out. On. So he's Men are very her, simple what is to attract. You're pretty. Okay? You're gorgeous. He's that's that's simple. 
women are more complicated to attract what keeps a man is more complicated so that's where no, i feel like the woman's empathy comes his, in and i think that saying that his what basic attracts argument a man is versus really his basic hold on, let me argument. finish really quick go ahead go ahead look, i'm gonna so, give you that saying what attracts a woman versus what attracts a man and keeping it at that basis and saying based on the attraction piece alone the five second interaction and what they have to figure out and empathize with in that moment versus what has to go on throughout an entire relationship to keep a man i think that that's an unfair comparison and that's an unfair way to say you think whether that? let me finish that's what whether somebody yeah that is what i said but um that's an unfair way to say that women or men are more empathetic because there's a lot more that goes into it and there's a lot more interaction that's untalked about there so all we're talking about is the first initial interaction and then I'm when we talk argue. about keeping it I'm that's on your where side. more of Look, the woman's interaction and where the, more of the woman's empathy comes in i'm on your side because at the end of the day yeah. <laughs> I'm going I'm to let you cook because I'm on your side. But at the same time, we don't really listen to men oh, on some real shit. We, we don't sat really here listening look. to men for about an hour. I, we have. Look. And that's then, all. Look, 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 Except for the look, huge look, dispute look, that went on there. Look, look, watch look. the cup, baby girl. No, no, no. Wait. <laughs> look. I'm on your side. Personal Again. space real quick. No, Sorry. real bad. No, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not worried about you. I'm on your side. All but right, uh, again. They don't get heard a lot. We usually are the ones to sit here and be like, oh, but you ain't worried about my day. You ain't never asked me, you know, good afternoon, how are you doing? Oh, do I need a massage? Da, da, da. When has a woman actually said, like, you know, how are you? I do that every day. And that's like, what, 70% out of I'm not saying majority of women do. I'm saying that there are women that do. Yeah, it is. Right it now. is. What the fuck? I, I don't know. I'm pressure. It is. All right. Um, but let's it just is. get back to the question because I don't think you guys answered. All right. Just out of curiosity, yeah. do you guys remember how we even got here? Yeah. Yeah. I do. Wait, Take but me through. But it's her turn next. How did we get here? It was about asking, asking what, what, I had to what turns us like off in a hold man. On, hold on. Hold on. Because they were talking the most. What? 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 How do we get here? To you guys asked the question from Rumble, we, we, we stopped there. Okay, what was the question? And we how did we get here? We, we were like two there. things that basically are X from okay. women, All most right. women in okay. relationships. And then what? I'm sorry, most women in relationships. And then what? Okay, and then we got to her. She started talking about controlling. Okay. We started talking about protecting and providing, and yep. what protecting and, she and providing means. with the emotional and empathy that. and how hey, people uh, don't see her hey, Miss, worry uh, about. Uh, Missy, mm-hmm. Missy, let her I talk, please. I have big ADHD, so like too many be making me like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. Basically, I mean, I think I've pretty much let it up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go through with this because I, it's very interesting how. <laughs> When we listened to you guys talk back, you weren't able to extrapolate what was actually being discussed and the points that mattered. You guys only remember the points that gave you an emotional trigger, which is actually fascinating because yeah. this podcast has proven that time and time fucking again I that women don't care about though. the facts. Holy fuck, but bro. Like, what the hell? I wasn't. <laughs> she, then she makes an emotional outburst in the middle of the conversation. I, 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 I just don't think trigger. you should speak for all of us because I, I admit I a valid all? point. Did I say all? Yes. I yeah. never said yeah. all. Yeah. 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 I never said all. Well, to be fair, there's women here that try to think that they can speak for me and they don't so i can relatable this is incredible <laughs> i never said all i was just saying in general um but if you feel that way i guess if the shoe wears it, the shoe fits where right how we started was two things that piss you off in a relationship first thing she said was controlling and i said oh how are they controlling she goes don't tell me what to wear and then um and then i said okay well why does the man say that to you and then she was like uh and i said well it's because he's protecting you and then she admitted that protection is a man's job, rightfully so. And then I said, well, okay, if it's his job, you have no say in the matter. I gave the example of the president of your Secret Service. Most powerful person in the world doesn't fucking move unless Secret Service tells him to move. Which, by the way, I've been on Secret Service details. I'll tell you that from my professional experience. I protected presidents before. I know what the fuck it is. Okay? We tell him when to fucking move. He doesn't move when he wants. Next. Okay? Since it's his job, you have no say. It's not your job. Then... Why, does he not, why is it not your say? And why is it his job? Well, remember that empathy that we talked about? He understands that you're physically weaker. You don't have the same strength and ability to defend yourself in a crazy-ass world. He knows how the world really works, and he understands the violence that men are capable of. That means he has empathy because he's able to understand your position as an inferior being in the world as a woman. 
I don't make the rules. I just report them. You are physically inferior, so therefore you can't Misogyny. protect yourself. So therefore you can't dictate how you are going to go out into the world if you are under the protection of a man. If you are not under the protection of a man, then do whatever the fuck you want. But then you can't sit there and dictate to the man how he's going to protect you when it's his responsibility. Misogyny. Okay. Can, can, I, can I say my response? Do you have anything for that? You don't, I mean, I just want to hear. You don't want to hear. Logically my mouth sound. On it. I mean, can you actually refute what I told you? Though? Yes, I can, but no, we sure, don't have ahead. time for that. Go ahead. go ahead. No, we don't have time. You have for the floor. That. You have the floor. I refute don't. It. I don't want it. After no, that. refute it. Go no, ahead. No, I'm just. You win. Can Can, can, I, I, can I? say So what? you can't refute it. I can refute it. You cannot. I the don't, floor is yours. Refute it. I don't want. It. I I literally will give you as much time as you need to refute it. Go ahead. It feels pointless. She doesn't remember. Seems like it would be a waste of time. Let's just move on. Yeah, I want to move on. Can I say my things? Well, I mean, my thing I is, uh, if, uh, things here, I'll let her talk to give you Damn. time because I know you can't refute it. I can and I don't want to because it would be a waste of my time. How would it be a waste of your time? Because you're, you're just, just going to say something, with us. You're gonna say something else time. silly. So I uh, silly. Silly. What he said. Yes. Still wasting time. You're not, va- you don't value my point. So he does. I, I, no you, point. you do understand. And you don't have to. It's okay. It's okay. You, you do understand that I listened to your point very and I closely. I listened to yours. We're I understood on, it, and then the I responded to it, which means I value it very much. I just was able to debunk uh, it. So you don't value wait, it. Wait, 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 hold on. You, you sound like a fucking fourth grade right now. Okay. <laughs> and, okay. and I, I'm talking to five years. I wasn't a sub. I was actually a teacher. Art, journalism, fuck oh. me. Please really? stop being in your emotions and fucking answer the question. I am not emo- yes, the I'm only emotion. The only one so emotional, yeah. bro. My I ears are bleeding. The, the emotion I feel is this is funny. No, bro. silly. No. This is funny. Tiffany, shut the fuck up. Yes. Funny, you're using fourth grade terms, all right? I need you to. Is this serious? Is this podcast serious? If you can't answer the question, that's cool. Just say, you know what, you won. I can. I did. I literally said that. She had two minutes to answer the question. Can you answer the question in two minutes? I don't want to. See, you sound like, I don't want to. Because you made the point saying that I don't value value your point, but I literally wrote a whole thing to refute your point. So that means obviously I very I value it, I listened to it, and I understood it, which is why I was able to refute it. So of course I value it. Okay. I'm just telling you that you it's not- You value it refuting it. Yes, I have to respect the point to be able to refute it properly. Not I must listen to it and understand not it. Not necessarily. Wait, so- You could just think it's fun to refute me. I which is the point your of this entire, podcast. I outlined your entire argument. But you don't value and it. And then I refuted it. Okay. Mm, okay. Could just disagree to. That's, okay. what, that's what I'm saying. Okay. It's like we just wasted okay. two minutes again. Let's say we do value it. What now? What do you mean? No, I value it. What now? Go ahead. Move on. No, no. Re- give it a rebuttal at least. I value it. <laughs> Wait, you say you don't want a leader, okay. or you want fifty-fifty, but you don't act like you're a leader or something like that. You act like a little child. So. Man, and you're see. This is why I don't do it because you're just gonna roast well, me. Yeah, no, you act like a child right now. You act like you don't know what the fuck's going on. You use silly ass terms, and when we ask you, "Hey," and the question, you just use the word "silly" as well. I so you're really silly. Know. We're all silly. Listen, don't yeah. lie to me, man. I talk kids five years. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing too. Listen, this is funny. That's why like, people yeah. have to lead girls like you because you don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, well, I mean, why are you attacking her character? Like, it's because it's entertaining. Yeah, you can but attack the thing her is, character. That's not how you debate people. That is not hey, the healthy way to debate people. You can't be talking. You attack the girl's character. That's I, I know. I am reflecting on it. Like, damn. Like, is that how I sound? Because if that's how I sound, I don't want to be like that. But the message, I don't think you're the messenger at this point. Who, who, it's their you? podcast, bro. Yeah, listen. You're on their platform. Girl, honestly, like I'm not even going. I'm, I'm not even going to cap. Like you just need to shut the fuck up, honestly, because like I've been saying quite no, a whole time. Everybody's. Agree, I'm not even ghetto. Like I'm from Pittsburgh for real, and I'm not even being ghetto or nothing. You just keep on talking over people. No, you need to shut the fuck up first and foremost. You're just being so true. No, because you keep on talking over people. People's talking. Everybody got the point. Everybody got their point of opinion. Let people talk. Stop no. belittling people. Then let people oh, talk. Oh, oh, oh. I'm no. letting people talk. I sat here quiet the whole time. Have she I been quiet? Talking. You cut her off. Have I been quiet? He didn't. Have I been quiet? Come on now. I've been quiet this time. So, so, I I've been letting everybody talk. About, no. Stop disrespecting people. So, everybody got an opinion. We'll do one at a time. Yeah, but opinions can be wrong. And That's fine. But it's just like she needs to stop talking over people. Like there are multiple calls. Calm down. You need to calm down a little bit. I'm calm down, but I've been quiet the whole time exactly. But she keeps on talking. 
I don't you care. You're a bit erratic right now. I don't care. She keep on talking. So okay. it's like, okay. You keep talking. Girl, oh, I said something because you said sure. I haven't said nothing this whole time. <laughs> Ask anybody here. Have I been quiet? Have I been quiet? Yeah, you have been I've been shutting the fuck up. I come here and I sit here and I be quiet. But you just keep on trying to belittle her and whoever you're trying to belittle. I mean, but here's the thing, though. She, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't care about what she she doesn't, she doesn't make sense, though. Uh, who? Okay. Like, I don't think that's you are saying. I'm not saying she, I'm not saying she does that. make sense, yeah. though. Yeah. No. I'm not saying she makes sense. I'm not saying she's yeah, she right. Doesn't but make I'm sense. just saying and she's calling she you out for not making sense. No, that's fine. But she keep on trying to call out bitches to make herself look some type of way. Bitch, you was fucking niggas for money all your life. Excuse me. And now you're calling me out of it to sell water bottles, bitch. Why are you being so trashy? Look how you're dressed and look how you're talking. I don't care about that bitch. Bitch, you was a porn star. Now you sell water bottles. You think of that bitch. Bitch, you sell water bottles. Be for real. You need to chill out. Man. That's funny, oh right? Yo, yo exactly. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, you need to chill out, man. I don't care. You, you need to chill out. Want to. You need to chill out. Like, goddamn. I, I mean, I don't care. This is crazy. This whole time. Yeah, yeah I get it. You want some attention, Actually, but no, I like understand the, where her the, but frustration comes from. I've like, been you know quiet I mean? the whole time. Frustration from what? Like, literally, you, you guys are oh. angry about a debate that y'all weren't think, even involved I think her, in. Her perspective and her perspective are like, like. The, Everybody's just a, a little well, here's, too emotional. Uh, let me, let me, let me, I'm, I'm, I'm also like that. Like, let me be very objective here. Let me be very objective. Um, uh, no, there's <laughs> no opinions here. There, there's just facts and then opinions <laughs> which are wrong. There's truth and lies, um, right? That's um, why I said opinions. Uh, well, I said I there's opinions awesome. and then there's facts. And quite frankly, mm, she's been giving some right. opinions that are incorrect. Okay. And I, we called it out and mm -hmm. we that's systematically that's debunked it. Can you stop with the fucking ad libs, man? Yeah, stop. Like, if I'm talking, like, be quiet. All right? Um... Simply put, uh, point headphones. Uh, Thank you. Look, man, if you want, look, man, we don't need the attitude. If you want to just get up and leave, it's fine. Like, no, I was paying attention to that. You no, should have paid. To, told me you should thing. focus on a competition. What's going on tonight, bro? bro? What the fuck is going on with this panel, bro? I don't know. Like, this is crazy, bro. Man, who Everybody's goes is on, arguing. Man? Yeah, bro. That's, it's like, it's like, my attention yelling. isn't on me. Can't focus. Everybody is yelling in my <laughs> ear. I cannot concentrate. That's bro, nobody yelling in your ear, man. Don't comment. But, bro, like. Bro, mine was what one talking, man. Like, yo, this is crazy. Attention isn't on me. Let me fucking spaz out. It's like, bro, what the hell is wrong with y'all? Like, this is crazy. This to me. Like, it's just like. Well, you got one girl here saying, oh, well, I can refute the argument. Refute the argument. Well, 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 well. We're giving you a chance to refute it. You don't got nothing to say. Because I know exactly what you're going to do when I what say What am I going to do? You're going to say Debunk that my again? opinion is wrong. I'm not, I don't think you're, you can say my opinion is wrong. I don't think that your opinion is wrong for saying that. Like, you're, everyone's opinion no, is No, my valid. opinion is correct. An opinion is subjective. It doesn't have any, it, there's no right or wrong. It's subjective. No, opinions can absolutely be wrong. Okay, your opinion that opinions be wrong is right because an opinion is opinion. A fact could be wrong. Bruh. A fact can be wrong? Yeah. <laughs> you teach children? <laughs> yeah. No, she subs. Bro, <laughs> with all due respect, you're fucking stupid. I, I I hate to say it like that, but like, no, bro, you don't. You love to say point, it like no, that. No, 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 no. I, I you really, do. I see. Because right all you. the people on the podcast get mad at me when I tell girls that they're dumb. But sometimes you just gotta call a spade a spade. You're fucking dumb. Yes. You are dumb. And you're freaking and, rude. And it's literally you're and fucking you're scary that you are teaching it's, children. Yeah. It's yeah. scary that Holy you're sitting shit. here, you're saying this to well, a bunch of women. You just said a fact. It cannot be true. Like, it's what? Science, all science is falsifiable. A fact could be proven, love. They said I know, but it can also be debunked. It can also be wrong. Do you think men can get pregnant? You're talking. No, no, no. You can't. This is incredible. You can't do that. Like that's not. I'm just saying. I tried, yeah. man. I tried. Okay. Okay. I systematically debunked okay. her. I ask her to refute my okay. point, and then she says no because yeah. you're just gonna <laughs> listen to what I say and shows me that I'm wrong. Okay. Like, okay. This is what I'm trying to say. Tell me, you're kidding, right? Look, look, look. That is look. Like, that, what you just said right now is precisely why I'm gonna tell you to fucking dress differently because you're dumb. No, you don't know how the world works. Like, what the fuck do I look like sitting here? Oh, you know what? You don't know that a fact can be independently verified look. through other sources. So let me go ahead and let you pick how you want to dress to go out into the dangerous fucking world and do whatever you want. No, this is why women need leadership. Y'all are fucking crazy. Look, you just said a fact. You look. just said a fact is look. can't be true. What? I can admit okay. that that sounded wrong. That's not. It was look. wrong. It's, okay. It yeah. was wrong. wrong. That's not what I meant. It was that's, wrong. Okay. That's not what <laughs> I meant. You talk kids? Okay. What That's not what I'm... Are you really incredible. asking me what I'm... Like, do you actually want to hear what I was going to say? Oh, go ahead. I, yeah, I said a fact can be wrong. What I meant to go further to say is mm. that a fact could be 
proven you can evaluate a fact objectively that's what i mean even when you prove something in science it's falsifiable it has to be able you have to say yes this is what we found now currently but it can also be proven wrong in the future a fact is objective my opinion opinions are subjective that's the point that i was trying to make and opinions can be wrong is the point that i was making and your opinion is 100% we, wrong. We so you just agree. disagree. Bro, if the president of the United fucking States, the most powerful man in the world, doesn't move unless his protection tells him to move and how they move, what makes you think you have that's more authority a, than the president of the United States? That's not a relationship. The president and the Secret Service are not in a relationship. It's an a- analogy. It's basically. an analogy to describe, okay, even at the, in the craziest level, the protectee has no real authority. If that nigga say fuck wow. him. Tiffany, to answer That's your why question, I just move on. men I can like definitely him. not have babies. <laughs> That's definitely a fact. <laughs> if I just wanted to question it. Like, you know, <laughs> wait, wait, if the president put all in their feelings and stuff. No, yeah, if the men definitely yeah, the yeah. Yeah. Sound entertained. You right need now. to protect women like this from themselves, bro. Like, this is crazy <laughs> talk. I'm going to erase all of them. Crazy like, talk. <laughs> about my show, yeah. man. Aaron, it's been erased, bro. So, nigga, this is crazy talk, bro. I think at this point, we just realized that. Like, and, and I don't want to sound like an asshole or whatever, but this yeah. is why I don't. Like, I only debate women on the podcast. I don't argue. If I'm in a relationship with a girl, I'm dealing with a girl. I don't fucking argue with y'all. Because a bunch of you guys, you, 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 emotional arguments. Yep. What the fuck do I look like sitting here negotiating with a woman? Oh, I feel like happen. this. Like, I'm not sitting here debating with you. And all you guys watching the fucking podcast right now, all 25K of y'all watching, this is why you don't sit there and negotiate with women, guys. They don't understand. Like, they, we all heard the same fucking conversation. What did they extrapolate from it? I think this happened and this happened. And I'm like, wait, what? That's not what we talked about at all. They took a completely different context from the conversation that we had, and we were all here. I think we can clarify that. Bruh. We're using logic, we're using emotions. But yeah. Ultimately. Per- perfect example of that. Yeah, yeah. They should show this in a psychology class. Oh, wait, they already fucking do, by yeah, the way. Yeah, they do. They use, uh, ladies, thank you so much. They use this podcast, and I've seen it before, in feminist studies classes and psychology classes to show the difference between how women and men think. So, I've, pe- I've seen people literally... <laughs> Play this podcast in a psychology class. So if you know that, if you know that, why why do you try to battle? And this is not, I'm not even attacking you. Like, I really, sure, go ahead. I just want to know the answer. Like, if you know that women argue so emotionally, why do you try to battle logic so much? A, a genuine question. Battle like, logic? Gonna, because, yeah, yeah. Because like, it's entertaining. I'm not asking y'all. Yeah, I'm, asking are, I'm, not asking y'all. I'm asking Myron. I'm not asking y'all. I'm asking Myron. Women are more emotional. Myron. Like, 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 y'all yeah, dead ass set up here and prove their point, though. From the beginning, the first conversation, y'all got y'all ass up, started doing emotional shit. She's, like, way too emotional to respond to a question. Like, this junk is getting embarrassing. I'm not. Look, the only one that I'm not answering my I just want to know. Even you, you hella emotional. Even if you're trying to be like a big me, want to be like supporting them shit, you're hella emotional because you can't even control your outburst. This is getting crazy. This is why I'll never vote for a female president. The only reason why I targeted her is because she hit a point. What's going on, bro? That's why. But it got emotional, her shit and that's is. why you're proving their. Because problems. at the end of the day, I'm because still a female. Because y'all cannot cease it and lock in. I'm still a female. Because logically, y'all shouldn't be doing that I'm still when we're on a, a podcast I'm on a platform. And I'm still logically, a y'all shouldn't be doing that. That's why they're saying that and I'm women. Still a female. Are, <laughs> you told I'm still me to a move female. forward. I'm just a girl. I'm still a this is the. I'm still this a is female. The response. <laughs> I like, can we rise men, above? Can we think? And that's where I'm s- trying to go. But at the end of the day, I, 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 I have five brothers. Tonight, bro? All right, so I have let's... five brothers. I'm the youngest. Okay, we gonna move on. I'm a girl. We can move on. That's so what yes, I, I am so I am still on. emotional. <laughs> that okay. her but I understand God. men because they are logical. I watch my brothers grow up. So you I understand where logical. they're coming from. I just from. don't think before y'all speak. I understand, <laughs> look, I understand I their logic, but I understand <laughs> the women's really emotional. Like, I am so confused right now, bro. Oh. Hey, I tried to. Hey, Carol said you, you remember that she asked the question, right, to us? Yeah. I still want to be her. Go ahead. You still want to be what? Go ahead. No, say, say what you want to say. What did you say? You still you said you still want to be what? Have you been drinking? That's the emotional yeah, part. Yeah. That's why I said. You have been drinking tonight? Continue. Yeah, I see. I have. Innocent. Okay, there you go. That's what it is. She's yeah. drunk. All right. You no, I'm, not from, from Myron, I'm not right? drunk yet. I'm not drunk yet. I'm not drunk yet. I'm scared, then. I mean, uh, orange juice. You still have a question, right? <laughs> Regarding why right. he debates? Yeah, so you said... Yeah, you, yeah I just wonder why... I, I think what you meant to say, because you said if you know they're going to be logical, I think you meant to say if I know... Why do I debate with women knowing that they're not going to be logically sound? Is that the question? Correct, yeah. Rephrase question? Mm-hmm. We can never um, go around the table. <laughs> no, we don't have to. 
I've been patiently waiting. <laughs> it's okay. You do realize that she characterized the question by saying, this is a question for Myron, right? So there doesn't need to go around the table? <laughs> the whole every time you ask a question, it's not right here. I just it, think she's really triggered right. by this. That's, yep. that's it. It sucks that's right here. Sorry, baby. Yeah. <laughs> no shots. But no, no, right but, here, it stops but, right here. No, but she but she asks Myron a question, not the not the girls. No, I'm not worried about her question. No, no, no. <laughs> you should be because it's a podcast. It's not my uh, baby girl. It's a podcast. No, I wasn't worried about the question. Hey, hey man, yo. I'll tell you this, bro. Yo, this is crazy. Yo, yo. Sorry. All right. Okay, we can just move on. Okay, yeah. no, I'll answer a question real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, uh, this is scary. To make it mm. simple, if, if what this podcast proves is that regardless of a woman's socioeconomic status, her background, racial, parent and bringing, etc., I've come to find that there is a very difficult time with them understanding a male's perspective and a, and making logically sound arguments in a logically sound world. They typically tend to look at the world through an emotional lens which a lot of times doesn't serve them well, which is why I genuinely believe that if a woman doesn't have a strong dad, a strong brother, or some kind of masculine figure to let her know how the fuck the world really works, she's going to be lost because mm -hmm. you guys are headed for destruction without instruction from a male. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I genuinely believe women need male leadership, and if they don't, Very it's just much. a matter of time until they fuck up. Very much. And then you wonder why you become single moms. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, oh shit. You let him in. I think. Hey man, don't you say that. Hey man, I'll tell you what I'm just saying. Like, I'm just saying. Why? Yeah, so, um, anyway, with that said, I am a it, it just, single mom by choice. Of course, mm -hmm. there's more educated women that are able to formulate arguments better, etc. But what I've come to realize, regardless of women's education level, we've had doctors on here, PhDs, mm -hmm. yeah. master's degrees, etc. Hell, there's some educated women on the panel today. But guess I'm what a they PhD. go back to? I don't like the way this makes me feel. Mm -hmm. And they typically tend to look at what we say, look at how it makes them feel, and then respond with that versus what was actually said. Mm -hmm. Like her, for example. She said, oh, well, he needs to say please, mm -hmm. or he needs to say can you. So she's more concerned with me telling her, can you dress this way, instead of, yo, the important part of the conversation is don't dress this way because it's a dangerous world out there. She's more concerned with how I give her the instruction versus the instruction, mm -hmm. which is why I laugh and I say, bro, we don't negotiate with y'all. It's this way mm -hmm. or the highway. And guess what? You guys like men, you like and respect men that tell you what the fuck it is anyway. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here. You guys see my beautiful girl. She was just here. I don't fucking argue with her. She, I, Hey, we're doing this. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay, it. Mate. Okay. And yes. Yeah. I don't sit here and argue with women. It's fucking stupid. Yes, puppy. And if they don't <laughs> like it, yo, get the fuck up out of here. That'd be cool. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. anyway. It is what it is, man. I just find it crazy that women think, like, you, you want a masculine guy? We don't argue with y'all, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys, we just put you in a sex-only category and never take you seriously. Or then it become a... Uh... You let him hit it right. Yeah! What? Yeah. 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 Ye